Hello and welcome back. This time we're talking about cavitation. What is cavitation? Uh, we will get to know. Uh, cavitation, there is inside the word cave. Uh, comes from the Latin cavitare, means dig something out, make a hole in it, yeah, aushöhlen, yeah, cave something, cavitation. What is where ah oh, caves built, yeah? everywhere, yeah? and all the materials, little tiny caves are produced by this effect cavitation. What is this? Yeah? You know, inside our fluid, uh, let's call it oil uh, or water, or it does not really matter. There is not only this fluid, there is also dissolved gases inside, air, uh, dissolved air. Depending on the pressure and temperature, this might be more or less air. Uh. The higher the pressure of the oil is, the more air it can hold. The less the pressure of the oil fluid is, the less air it can hold. This means if a pressurized liquid has some amount of gases dissolved in it, yeah, and then the pressure is dropping, yeah, what is happening? Little gas bubbles. You all know this effect. Yeah? Carbonated water. Uh, Mineralwasser. Open. <laughs> Something. Uh, carbonated water. Exactly the same effect. Suddenly there are bubbles where no one, no bubble was before. Because simply this was dissolved in the liquid or is dissolved in the liquid. Once all those bubbles are out, then the carbonated water tastes. Boring, blah, blah, and will never sparkle again because those things are gone simply. Yeah? If I close my bubbled water again and let the pressure rise, the bubbling will stop. Yeah? It can hold again the amount of, of dissolved gas yeah? and it will stop. Yeah? And next time I open it, it will be better. This is, by the way, why. Uh, Carbonate water in water glasses or water bottle bottles stays fresher than in these plastic bottles because the plastic bottles are more elastic and if the pressure is building up, they need to they get blown up a little bit. Yeah? They're getting hard, you can feel it. Yeah? And then this is stopped. Yeah? The glass bottle is not moving. It will just feel, build up pressure and that's it. There is no moving. Yeah? This is why uh, in, in plastic bottles, the carbonated water, if you have it half full, will taste very boring after a while. Uh, because it simply has to blow up the plastic bottle. Another effect of hydraulics. Uh, what does it mean in our system? Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. There is a pipe. And then there is an orifice or whatever, something like this. Looking, this is a throttle position because we want that not too much oil is passing. And okay, for whatever reason, this is inside. Here we said, yeah. here is oil inside with a certain pressure. Yeah. And then we have a certain velocity. Here the velocity is high and the pressure is dropping. Because the pressure is dropping, yeah, suddenly here there will appear little tiny bubbles. Yeah, like in the carbonated water. Yeah. They are here. Yeah, sparkling oil. Good. Suddenly I have little bubbles, bubbles inside. Huh? Then I come to an area where the velocity is dropping again and suddenly what is happening to these little bubbles? Huh? These little bubbles, huh? if the pressure is then high enough, huh? then 
this air or these gases here are immediately reabsorbed by the liquid and the walls of the bubble yeah, smashing together yeah so this tiny little bubble and then bash yeah imploded this implosion yeah causing causing here there was the point of the bubble causing here shock waves pressure waves which will move through the liquid yeah like you hear this you hear it yeah shock wave pressure wave yeah makes a sound also sounds a little bit like sparkling water if you have a cavitation you hear the inside there yeah? sound of cavitation this is these bubbles yeah? there are pretty high pressures yeah? thousand bars yeah? Yeah? megapascal quite poof, yeah? and if this thing if this implosion is happening close to the surface here yeah? close to the surface then it might cause that a little tiny piece of the surface surface is ripped out by this high pressure Crack. Yeah? Book. Yeah? and if this is going on for a certain amount of time then little tiny holes cavitations are built inside my smooth formerly smooth surface yeah? and it looks a little bit like you would you would etch it away with acid or something like this it really dissolves this appears it this looks like it dissolves and it ripped out it holes are inside like like you would do sandblasting yeah? on one position only and it's dissolved yeah? you can look up in the internet uh, pictures huh? really looking strange old Victor Kaplan yeah? inventor of the Kaplan turbine thought he has uh, enemies who is who are tearing in acids in front of his superb turbines yeah? because some disappeared over time yeah? cavitated they did not know what cavitation is yeah? now we know hmm? cavitation yeah? also there are might be high uh, high temperatures inside which may be caused something like a diesel effect yeah that there is self ignition of this uh of this air oil Pooh. Hmm. mainly the the damage is done to the surface yeah self ignition is a corner case which might happen like I said, it depends then on the temperature of this uh, of this water. Think about the sparkling water again, uh, carbonated water. It sparkles more if it's hotter. It's the same here. Yeah? This is also why we have to keep the temperatures low. Yeah? And also in a pump, yeah? if the pump is pumping yeah? and I do not I block the line, yeah? then it will simply move the same oil over and over again yeah, inside the pump and this oil will get hot and suddenly it starts to cavitate yeah. that's an issue yeah. pumps which are not allowed that oil is running through start to cavitate because this is getting warm inside yeah cavitation unlike a thing however we have to deal with this with this stuff causing this pressure drop the air by the way why is the air in why can't I just use airless oil yeah? well there's always somewhere contact with air yeah? and depending on the on the properties or the things it will take oil it will take air inside there will be gases involved yeah? higher pressure this is by the way we, we are going to talk about uh, uh, accumulators pressure accumulators yeah? a very simple accumulator is i have a gas volume yeah? and a pump in oil and the oil is pushing this gas volume together yeah? to comprimate 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 verdichten it's lowering the volume of this gas bubble yeah? 
And if the pressure of the oil is too high, yeah, this air or this gas is dissolved in the oil and then have a huge problem here. Yeah. This is why at, at uh, hydraulic systems above 60 bar pressure, yeah, usually such, such type of accumulators are not working well. Yeah. Then you need to have a separation between the oil and the gas phase. Yeah. Some piston or some bladder or whatever. Yeah. We will come to this. Cavitation, yeah? or maybe there's a little tiny hole and it will be sucked in somewhere. So the idea that you have gasless uh, oil, forget it, yeah? deal with it. Better solution. So that's cavitation. Next time we're talking about this uh, throttling points, uh, this choking point, throttling points, orifices or whatever, what is happening there? Huh? We're going to look a little bit in detail. Oh, for this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.